Hey everyone, welcome to episode number 12 of Face Off. I'm Puri. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm really glad you're here. Today I'm going to be comparing the i9 13900K versus the newly released AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. For a long time, the gaming crown has been Intel's to lose, and their flagship i9 series is usually leading the pack for gaming CPUs. As of last generation, that's changed, and there was a new challenger to the throne, the 5800X 3D. It outpaced the 12900K in most modern games and matched it at worst. And it could do it with more affordable complementary gear. It came in at a lower price and it has a lower power draw. So Intel had a lot of work to do on the heels of this release. And the 13900K is a powerhouse. Its gaming performance is very impressive. The one thing I will say about it is that there's not really any innovation or interesting tech behind it to me. It's just literally brute force here. In order to get the most out of the Intel, you do need to get pretty high-end complementary gear like a, you know, a high-end Z790 board to reach the highest possible DDR5 speeds right now. Fastest DDR5 right now is SK Hynix ADI and that is not really it's not really cheap to find at the moment so there's a high cost of entry there is a bit of knowledge required as well to go along with the 13900k on the other end we have the Ryzen 9 7950 X3D it is AMD's newest flagship chip it's basically the 7950X with a 3D V cache on one CCD. To me, it's almost like they took a page out of Intel's playbook with their P and E cores and essentially made a P CCD with the 3D V cache on one side and then an E CCD on the other. There are a ton of videos going over the specs of these two chips. If you want to see specific numbers and things like that, I'm sure you can Google it or ChatGPT it real quick. For me, I'm more interested in seeing how they stack up specifically against each other in Escape from Tarkov. So that's what I'm going to show you here. But these setups are essentially maxed out. As you saw earlier, the 13900K is actually on a custom water loop. And its cooling solution is much superior to the 7950X3D. As you can see here, I've got it on a basic $20 ID cooling air cooler. I don't really think that it should affect testing here. Basically, both of these builds are maxed out. Both are using SK Hynix ADI DDR5. On the Intel, the RAM is set to 8400 CL34. On the AMD, the RAM is set to 6000 CL30. Both are running 32 gigs of RAM. The 7950X3D system actually has the Aorus Gen 5 10,000 SSD, while the Intel is running a Samsung 990 Pro. I used my MSI Gaming Trio 4090 on both machines. Both machines had driver version 531. 18 installed. All these and more detailed specs are listed in my video description as well. Alright, so here's what I did to set up my tests. I used two maps, factory and streets, and I used 1080 and 4K resolutions. What I did was record each map in each resolution on minimum settings and maxed out settings. So overall, 16 total raids, eight individual runs on each machine. I used offline mode here and cranked the AI amount up to high to put a heavy load on the CPUs and really test their performance here. Yep! 
Okay, so for this face-off, I'm looking strictly at performance. I'm not considering the price or value at all. I first wanted to know objectively, can a max 7950X3D beat a max 13900K in Escape from Tarkov? And if you look at the results here, I mean, there are some variances, but I'd say FPS averages and max maximums are about equal on both machines, and they both felt about equal. Keep in mind, these numbers are going to look different than what you see online. I'm using a specific configuration and offline setting so that I can consistently test this with different systems. And then based off of these scores, we can kind of extrapolate how performance will be online. So if you want to see live online performance, I do post a lot of those benchmarks on my channel. For these face-offs, I'll usually run these tests under a specific set of conditions. As I mentioned earlier, both systems performed nearly identically and in terms of actual feel, they felt pretty much identical as well. Looking at all the numbers, they could be within margin of error on the FPS averages and max numbers. However, the 7950X3D was consistently ahead of the 13900K system on the 1% lows. So that was really the only noticeable observation I had from these results. I'm going to do a full performance and value comparison in the next episode. So I'll be diving deeper into the differences between these two chips and how it should affect your decision if you're planning to buy one of these two chips. So I hope this quick video was helpful or entertaining. If it was, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. I hope to see you around for the next episode where I really go more in depth with these new chips and do more analysis on their value proposition and what I think their impact will be in the CPU market going forward. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below or join my Discord. If you have any video requests, technical support requests, PC build help requests, go ahead and visit my website and fill out the request form. And I usually respond to those pretty quickly. Feel free to hit me up on Discord directly as well. So I hope to see you around. As always, thanks for dropping by and have a great day.